Hi guys! Welcome sa Engie Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na ito ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam, Electronic Systems and Technologies or EST Refresher. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam, Electronic Systems and Technologies or EST Refresher Part 1. So magsasagot tayo ng sets of questions. Let's start with question number 1. So we have the signal to noise ratio is 30 dB at the input to an amplifier and 27.3 dB at the output. What is the noise temperature of the amplifier? Okay, so meron kasi tayong formula na noise factor is equal to Signal to noise power ratio sa input over signal to noise power ratio sa output. So, ang unit natin for noise factor is unitless. Constant lang. Then, meron din tayong noise figure which is gagawin lang natin in dB itong noise factor. So, 10 log nung noise factor or 10 log nung kung isasubstitute natin itong formula signal to noise ratio input over signal to noise ratio output and then applying yung property of logarithm natin pwede itong maging 10 log signal to noise ratio input minus 10 log signal to noise ratio output. So, itong 10 log signal to noise ratio input, itong power ratio na to is naging decibel na. Same as ito sa 10 log signal to noise ratio output dB na. So, ito yung given natin, right? Yung dalawa, yung signal to noise ratio in dB sa input, ito 30 dB. So, 30 dB, substitute natin na, minus signal to noise ratio sa output, itong 27.3 dB. So, ito yung noise figure. So, therefore, ano yung noise figure natin kapag sinubtract natin to? Pwede tayo mag-subtract kapag naka-dB, right? So, 30 dB minus 27.3 dB is 2.7 dB. So, ang gusto nating makuha is itong noise factor, yung unitless. So, therefore, pag sinubstitute natin dito sa formula, noise figure natin na nakuha is 2.7 dB equals 10 log ng noise factor. So, para masolve natin si noise factor, divide natin both sides by 10. So, we have 2.7 over 10 equals logarithm of noise factor. So, base 10 to, right? So, therefore, pag ni-raise natin both sides as a base of 10, magiging 10 raised to 2.7 over 10 is equal to, cancel na to, noise factor na siya. Okay? So, itong noise factor natin na 10 raised to 2.7 over 10, magagamit naman natin to sa formula sa paghanap ng noise temperature. Kasi yung noise temperature, yung equivalent temperature natin is equal to Ta times noise factor minus 1. So, itong Ta, siya yung equivalent environmental temperature. Usually, ang reference is 290 Kelvin. So, substitute natin, 290 Kelvin times noise factor yung nakuha natin na 10 raised to 2.7 over 10 minus 1. So, therefore, using calculator, anong masasolve natin pag in-input natin to? Siya na yung equivalent noise temperature. Approximately 250 Kelvin. So, therefore, the answer is letter D. Okay? Next, we have, calculate the thermal noise voltage of the two resistors, 5 kilo ohm and 20 kilo ohm at 27 degrees Celsius if they are in parallel with bandwidth of 10 kilohertz. Okay, so this time, thermal noise voltage. So, meron tayong formula for the thermal noise voltage V sub N as equal to 4R KTB. Where yung R is yung equivalent resistance, tapos yung K, siya yung Boltzmann constant equal siya sa 1.38 times 10 raised to negative 23 joules per Kelvin. So, constant siya. Yung T, siya yung temperature in Kelvin, tapos yung B, siya yung bandwidth. So, meron naman tayong given lahat, right? So, substitute natin. Equal siya sa 
So, 4 times. Yung equivalent resistance natin, dahil parallel na 5 kilo ohm tsaka 20 kilo ohm is, ang equivalent resistance nila is product sa numerator. So, 20 kilo ohm times 5 kilo ohm over sum, right? So, 20 kilo ohm plus 5 kilo ohm times K, which is yung Boltzmann constant na 1.38 times 10 raised to the negative 23 Joule per Kelvin times temperature in Kelvin. So, yung given is 27 degrees Celsius, right? And temperature in Kelvin is temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273. So, therefore, we have 27 plus 273 is 300 Kelvin, right? So, therefore, times 300 Kelvin then B, bandwidth. So, 10 times 10 raised to the third power hertz. Kasi 10,000 kilohertz. So, direct plug-in lang natin to sa calculator. Ang masasolve nating value is 8.14 times 10 raised to negative 7 volts. Or, ano ba yung mga nasa choices? Microvolt, right? So, therefore, gawin nating 0.814 micro, right? So, therefore, 0.814 times 10 raised to negative 6 or 8.14 micro volt. Letter B, approximately B, right? Next, we have an AM transmitter with a 100 kilowatt carrier transmits 125 kilowatt when two-tone modulated. Calculate the modulation index of the second sine wave if the total transmitted power is 110 kilowatt when modulated by a single sine wave. Okay, so meron daw tayong AM transmitter with a 100 kilowatt carrier that, tra that transmit 125 kilowatt when two-tone modulated. So magkakaroon tayo dito ng total modulation index as equal to square root of M sub 1 squared plus M sub 2 squared. Kasi two-tone modulated, right? Tapos, calculate the modulation index of the second sine wave, which is this one. If the total transmitted power is 110 kilowatt when modulated by a single sine wave. So, ang hinahanap is itong modulation index of a second sine wave, let's say M sub 2. So, kasi pwede natin makuha yung M sub T o yung total modulation index kasi given naman yung transmitted power nung 2-ton modulated carrier na 125 kilowatt given yung carrier na may 100 kilowatt power. Tsaka yung makukuha din natin itong M sub 1 kasi given din yung total transmitted power nung AM transmitter when it is modulated by a single sine wave na 110 kilowatt. And then, pag nakuha natin itong dalawa, manipulate natin yung equation para masolve si M sub 2. So, kunin naman natin yung M sub T tsaka M sub 1. Paano? Kasi meron tayong formula for Total transmitted power for an AM transmitter assuming double sideband full carrier, right? So, PC, power of the carrier times 1 plus M over 2 squared, right? So, solve muna natin si MT. So, ang sasubstitute natin bali dito is yung total power when 2 ton modulated, which is 125 kilowatts, equals yung carrier power na 100 kilowatts times 1 plus yung modulation index nila na hanapin natin when 2 ton modulated unknown over 2. Okay? So, masasolve natin ngayon dito si MT using calculator. Pwede nyo i-manipulate or i-ship solve nyo na lang. Ilan to? 0 0.707. Okay? Same din, kunin natin yung M sub 1 kapag modulated naman by a single sine wave. Same formula lang din. So, yung total transmitted power this time is 110 kilowatts equals same E sub C or yung carrier power na 100 kilowatts times 1 plus this time yung M sub 1 unknown hanapin natin squared over 2. So, using calculator or ship solve, masasolve natin si M sub 1 as 0 0.45. Okay? Ngayon, meron na tayong M sub 1 tsaka MT. Masasolve natin si M sub 2. So, pagsinolve natin dito si M sub 2 equal siya bali sa M sub 2 squared minus M sub 1 squared equals M sub 2 squared, right? Manipulation. 
So, pag in-square natin both sides, masasalab natin si m sub 2. So, m sub 2 pala is equal to square root m sub t square, which is yung nakuha natin, 0 0.707, so squared minus m sub 1 squared. So, nakuha natin is 0 0.45, and then squared. So, using calculator, ano masasalab natin? m sub 2 is 0 0.545. Okay, so therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? So, dapat kabisado yung formula for total power ng double sideband full carrier as well as yung formula na yung total modulation index is equal to square root ng sum of the squares of the individual modulation index. Okay? Next, we have, using Carson's rule, what is the bandwidth of an FM signal with 5 kHz maximum frequency deviation and 2.5 kHz maximum modulating frequency. Okay, so meron lang tayong formula for Carson's rule. So yung bandwidth using Carson's rule is equal to 2 times the maximum frequency deviation plus the maximum modulating frequency. So, di ba, given naman yung dalawa, plug in lang natin dito sa formula. So, 2 times, ano yung maximum frequency deviation? 5 kHz. Plus, maximum modulating frequency? 2.5 kHz. So, using calculator, ilan to? Bandwidth is 15 kHz. So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have... What is the channel capacity for a signal power of 200 watts, noise power of 10 watts, and a bandwidth of 2 kHz of a digital system? Okay, so channel capacity. So, meron lang tayong formula for channel capacity, let's say C, na 3.32 times bandwidth logarithm of 1 plus signal to noise ratio. So, the units is BPS. Okay, so substitute natin. 3.32 times ano yung bandwidth? 2 kHz. So, 2 times 10 raised to the 3rd Hertz. And then, yung logarithm ng signal to noise ratio. So, 1 plus ano yung signal? Signal power is 200 watts, right? Over noise power is 10 watts. So, using calculator, ilan to? 8779.5 54 BPS. So, sa choices, KBPS. So, move lang natin to. So, approximately 8.779 KBPS. Letter B. Okay? Okay, so I think putulin ko muna dito yung part 1 ng ating engineering board exam review for EST repressure. So, abangan nyo na lang yung next upload ko for Engineering Board Exam Review EST Refresher Part 2 Okay? So, sana ay may tutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood. <music>